Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mang, and I welcome you guys to part 59 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. We're currently charging at one of Dane's fortresses. Gatry is kind of busy here with his little platoon. He, uh, is having a jolly good time fighting off these guys. I think, well, I'm gonna kill this guy on my true retaliation hit with a javelin, and I'm going to be killing this guy as well, I'm pretty sure, but I need to take out their healer, so let's go do that. I prefer to equip a javelin because then he can actually retaliate against some of these guys. If he hits, which he may not do. But at least now we've taken out their healer. Nice one! Ah. Oh well. Was worth a try. Alright, we got some friends incoming here. Some Viver Knights. Let's see, they got short spears, steel lances, and steel axes. Who should we send? Probably Boyd. Um, yeah, probably Boyd. Let's send him up here to have some fun. Uh, let's just see, do they also come with ranged weapons? We got this guy, which has a short spear. But his range is not that fantastic. I'll send Boyd at them. Give him a killer axe. And uh, we got some new enemies over here as well. Let us see. Yeah, we can probably kill one with the aura. Yeah, that works. Chris is actually a very decent combat unit now. Like he's as good as a uh, uh, as a sage, if not better. Although, of course, he has the perks of a crafted light tome, which cost most of my money at the time. I wonder if I'm gonna get more money, or if I'm stuck with the amount I have now. I might actually start to run low on weapons, although I did purchase some men's staves, sold some iron weapons I wasn't really using. Alright. Um, yeah, Mist can kill this guy, although he hits her four times back if she fails. So please don't fail. Thank you, Mist. I don't necessarily think the front lines are a great place for her to be, but she is starting to become really awesome right now. Hit points, strength, skill, and luck. Cool. 22 luck. That is pretty cool. Alright. Can we take care of one of these guys? Uh, not really. Hmm. We have Malakov. That guy is pretty strong. Can the Balmung finish it off? We do have the longsword. But the longsword just isn't very good. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It just isn't. Um, some vibrance over here. With steel lances and silver lances. Would prefer not to be in their path. Um, I do have a Lagoo Slayer that might prove useful right here. It actually will not kill it. Hmm. That is annoying. That is quite annoying, actually. Um, who should I dance for with Raisin? That's the big question. I guess Callal. Would be nice to get her a little bit closer to the fray. And I think Raisin's going swan mode next turn. So that's gonna be pretty kick-ass. Alright, Kalo. Okay, actually, she can't attack, but okay. Hmm. I could hope for a crit. 37% is pretty decent. And we're gonna get one! Good. So that's a dead... Is that the tiger? I think that's a tiger. We have a sniper here. It would be actually nice to take. Oh, we really need to heal up Kieran. Like, we really, really, really need to heal up Kieran. Can we. If we. Hmm. I could move forward and then kill this archer. Maybe I'll get a soul proc. Who knows? Now he would actually need it. But no. But yeah, we'll just retreat. I don't want to leave him at the front lines with 16. Hit points, that's a little bit too much, even for Kieran. Let's move him back here. Princess Crimea can heal him up. Does Makalov require healing? Does anyone here require healing? 
Grayson requires a little bit of healing. Fine. I guess I'll heal up Grayson then. I think I'm gonna go steal the boss's uh, elixir. I would really like another elixir. Hit points, magic, and resistance. The problem with Ileana is her speed. It's kind of the same problem Oscar suffered from, really. Her speed is really bad. Really bad. And with bad speed, you kind of suck, regardless of your stats, because you'll never be able to double. And doubling is so important. Alright, power and down. I would like the Vibrants to come closer. I guess I could pull one of them closer to Makalo. He'll survive. He'll stay here. Alright. Put a pull. Volky can move a little bit closer. Nephany can also move a little bit closer. I trust Gatra will be fine over there. Here comes the Vibrants! Will Makalo kill this guy? I'm actually not so sure. They're pretty tanky, these guys. He actually will not, so unless he gets a critical. Which he will not. That Brave Sword will be used up mighty fast, I tell ya. <laughs> and in time, Getru will kill these guys. Oh no, a critical! <laughs> oh. Getri, do not care. Kinda helps that I've stuck a Night Ward on him. It really has increased his speed by a lot. I don't think he would have become this fast otherwise. I really doubt it. Seventeen speed is pretty fantastic for a general. Kind of reminds me of Oswin. This one, Oswin is like really strong and really fast. My favorite armor knight from Fire Emblem Seven, by far. Really reminds me of Gatry. Starts out at a pretty high level, decent base stats and good growths. And we have another level for our dear Gatry gun. Hit points, strength, skill, and resistance. Kind of like the fact that he's leveling resistance. It's kind of like his only weakness. So, the fact that he's a little bit more tanky towards magic helps him out a lot. Would have liked it even more if he leveled speed, though. I think he's on the verge of doubling some of these soldiers. Oh, hello there, little cat. How are you doing? Oh, javelin critical. That train ain't fucking around. That must have been a really low percentage one as well. The best kind. What is this fucker doing? Healing his friend. Yeah, I'm coming for you, little healer. Hmm. I don't think this one will hit. And I was correct in this assumption. I wonder how tough the boss is. He looked pretty nasty. Had some very decent base stance on him. That's for sure. You know, for being the guards of the general, you guys are not really doing a good job at all, are you? I'm still waiting for those reinforcements to come out of the forge. I'm just so glad this game does not have ambush pawns. Does it have ambush pawn on uh, lunatic mode? That sounds like something a Japanese lunatic mode would add. Or maniac, I think it's called. I, Ray has really been talking a lot about maniac mode in the comments. hey -o! And the more I hear about it, the more I want to play it. I might just make another Let's Play of this game one day, where I play the Maniac mode. Surely someone has to have made a Japanese translation patch for it. Skill. Wonderful, Boyd. Wonderful. Alright, here come some more reinforcements. And it's time to go Swan Mode! Oh wait, that was just healing, wasn't it? And it's time to go Swan Mode? Swan Mode? Yes, it's time to go Swan Mode. Fuck yeah. Alright. We want to kill these guys, that's for sure. Um, let's go kill the one with the short spare. See if we can... We can actually... We can't double. That sucks. Maybe Markia can. Mm. 
We can bank on a lucky critical. Mark, yeah, kind of gets those a lot. Oh. Well, it was worth a try. Let's see. Maybe a Alin Nah, Alinsha does not have the strength to do that. Hmm. I think it's probably better if I take out this guy. I might kill him. And hey oh! Down you go, little Vyvern. Were all enemies in this battle pre promoted? It sure feels that way. It's a lot of fun. Alright, let's see. We got some. Got some Vyverns over here that I would prefer not to pull. I think it's about time we use up the Ichiban. That's been like one of my most like long-lasting crafted weapons. It's really just a forged iron bow. I don't think I've forged a steel bow yet, actually. Alright, um... How's Getra doing over here? Fairly well, actually. We should probably go up and uh, kill the healer. Shouldn't be so difficult. Down you go. I guess I could have sent Nefni down there as well. She probably killed him a lot faster than Gatry is. Alright, so I want to make sure I dance for four people. How can I do this? Um, if I stand where Mist is standing right now. I can start by doing some damage. Any one of these? Nah. I'll start by healing up Makalo. And that I could... Uh, if I move Volki a little bit... I guess Volki could... No, that's a little bit too scary. There's a lot of Paladins over here that I would rather not mess with. Um, but I could perhaps kill this guy. No. I could do some damage to him, at least. And God knows, might get a crits. I just want to dance for four people. And uh, I think Makalov can go and deal with those paladins up there. Hit points, strength, luck, and speed. No defense, I mean. He's pretty strong now. Then we place him here. Kieran can... do some nice damage to this guy, at any rate. Before we dance for him. But he's just not fast enough to double. Then we place Kieran right here. And let's see, does anyone actually need healing? I guess Ike kinda needs healing, doesn't he? Maybe I should go heal Ike. Um He procs another though, he should be good, shouldn't he? I think we'll be fine. Ike's pretty tanky. Oh, there we go. Wait, he procs soul on both strikes. That's pretty overpowered. Okay, that's overpowered as hell. I thought he procced soul on one and then loon on the other. That is ridiculous, actually. Yeah, that's that's insane. Alright, let's look, risk get this kill. We could let Mist get the other one, actually. The pre-promotes are falling like flies here. This reminds me of the chapter in Fire Emblem 7, where you fight against the Black Fang. Um, where Limstella is the boss, a bunch of enemies, all dying really horribly. Um, let's see, if we move... Uh, Kalil doesn't really need to. I can kill... I should be able to kill him with an Elfender. There we go. If I'm lucky. Which I think I am. Oh! No. <laughs> I am! Unnecessary critical. Uh, 
Looks like I'll be making my way towards the boss before the reinforcements come out of the forge. Um, let's see, let's put Eliana here. Lucia can go here. Do we need healing on anyone? I don't think so. Anyway, I'll move over here. OP, OP. God, so strong. This ability is so fucking strong. Um, pretty sure I'm good. I guess I could go and heal Mist just for the hell of it. Just to get some experience. I think it would make sense if uh, Alinsha has kick ass growths. She seems like an Est to me. I do hate Ests, but I like this one because it's a healing Est. Who doesn't like a healing Est? Um, I think Kieran can take care of this guy. Hmm. Silverax does not get the job done. What is the sorcery? Nor does the long sword. Actually, the brave sword should get the job done. Kieran might kill him if he gets a crit. Could gamble. I seldom gamble with Kieran these days. Maybe I should. Let's gamble. If he doesn't like reduce our hit rating by it. Wait, he doesn't have a gamble anymore. Ah, I think I removed it. Oh well. Yeah, I think I removed it to get soul. It was a pretty bad skill on him anyway. You don't want gamble on an axe user. They're inaccurate by nature. You want gamble on a swordmaster or a sniper or someone else who hits very reliably. I think I was supposed to get the kill and missed. Oh well. Um, do you want to be a little bit careful with Ileana? I'd rather have missed on the front lines actually. Mist is actually pretty hard to kill. What are these guys doing? Running away for potions? I think that's exactly what they're doing, actually. Well, they'll be stopped by the Gatring gun. God, Gatry is such a good unit. And now he's gonna level up again. <laughs> now you level up his lance level, which apparently does nothing in this game. I thought it would give you a crit and hit bonus like it did in the Fire Emblem 7 games, but alas, it is not the case. They do not get anything from it at all, aside from the ability to use special weapons. I still haven't seen any legendary weapons. I guess this game doesn't have a lot of them. According to fans that I've asked... The game does not have Gaiden chapters, so I haven't just been terrible and missing out on them. They really do not exist. I may have missed out on a few hidden treasures, though. Hit point, strength, skill, speed. Ah, oh, you're so good. God, he's gonna cap strength, isn't he? I think he. Oh, <laughs> he stole the boss's elixir. Oh my god, he should get killed for that. <laughs> he stole the boss's elixir. That wasn't very nice, now was it? I was actually planning on stealing that elixir. Still one, two, if I can get close. Oh, nice one. Yeah, Kieran ain't dying anytime soon, buddy. Hmm. Okay. Well, Makalov is tanky. Pretty sure he can survive this. His Brave Sword is about to go, though. If it... Already, I think that might have been the end. No, actually, these guys are really fast. Really fast. You know, giving bows to paladins, very bad idea. I know I gave Makalov bows. That's so fucking useless. Like, why the fuck would you give your paladin a bow? Bows just aren't very good weapons. Bum bum na na na. Slaying paladins left, right, left, and center. And it's only annoying when the enemy has bows because he can't fucking retaliate. Should have given them silver bows at least if they wanted to make them a little bit scary. 
This is why I hate short spares. Ow. Okay, that guy needs to die. Okay, will there be more reinforcements? No. No reinforcements today. Alright then. Um, let's go kill ourselves a boss, shall we? First we need to get rid of this guy. That should be easy enough. Actually, it won't be that easy, but... Let's kill this guy and take his elixir. Actually, I don't think we get it. But I want to see Ike's custom boss quote with this guy. He seems like an interesting fella. Zonic Sword. It was very cool that he took the boss's elixir, though. <laughs> I like that. I like, I'd, I'd like to see that happening in a cutscene. I don't think it would have worked that well for the general. Well, he's dead now. 12. Hit points, skill, speed, resistance. Good. Ike needed a couple of points in speed. I don't know if there's going to be any reinforcements over here later, so I am just going to be moving my guys up. There might be. So I'm going to move up just to be sure. I do believe there are some people who need some healing over here. Yeah, Makalo, for example, needs that one point of healing really badly. Let's go dance. Like, there may be a bunch of enemies coming out of the fort for all I know, so I might as well bring my army up, just in case. We probably want to be a little bit careful here. Maybe a mist can take care of one of these paladins. Almost. No, sadly not. We do have Volki though, who can chip this guy at least. Or maybe crits, who knows? Ooh! He can! Well, that was helpful, Volki, thank you. Mm. At least I can do something with Mists. I want to get some weapon experience on her, I really do. Would be awesome to see her use the Sonic Sword even once, but. I'm starting to think I might not be able to make it. I should have saved the arm scroll for her. I really should. But alas, it is too late now. But hey, Mist's still a really good unit. Regardless of if she can use the Sonic Sword or not, she'd just be a really kick-ass unit if she could. And I'd love to see it. Let's see, I do believe uh, Mist took a little bit of damage, so let's, uh, hey. <laughs> Zero damage, yeah, Lynch isn't really doing a whole lot here. She is mostly a flying healer. And that's, I think, is going to be her utility for quite some time. Um, let's actually let Lucia take care of this one. We can probably, yeah, we can use the longsword, that should be enough. If my math holds up, which I know it seldom does. But I think this will be a kill. No, it won't. <laughs> 17 times 2 is not 35. Ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> when will I ever learn? Okay. Uh, this is actually kind of bad. Because this guy could kill Raisin. This guy cannot. So we need to kill this guy. Yeah, I am not taking that chance. I'm not... Also, there's one thing I have been terrible at this entire game, and I should probably get a lot better at it, and that is checking the talk menu. I almost never do it, and I think I missed out on a lot of cool conversations as a result. Uh, conversations, my meter. Or there may just have been very few conversations, and I probably haven't missed out on anything. I'm not sure. Alright. Nefni can help out here a little bit. I wonder if Nefni and Gatri has a support. I mean, Nefni is a very cute lady. I'm sure Gatri would hit on her sooner or later. I gotta 
Pearl one right here. I'm sure they have some sort of support. Alright. Alright, we gotta kill this fucker. Almost forgot. Mark, yeah, should be able to. Oh, really? Aw, oh, come on. Uh, I guess not. Because I underestimated her ability to deal damage. Ooh, hello. This could be slightly nasty. Oh, or not. Really? Really, Lucia? Really? Wow, you're you are kind of bad. <laughs> this is why I don't like Swordmasters in general. Sure, they're awesome, they can create a lot of shit, but if they don't get strength, they're not worth shit. You can't do shit against heavily armored enemies. And they're locked to swords, which by default make them pretty fucking bad. So, really dislike Swordmasters because of that. Gatry is on fire. He really wants to show off for Nafni. He's like, hey, hey, babe. Look at what I can do with my lance. Yeah. Well, everyone's gonna go for Gatry because of his provoke. Oh, you're gonna crit me? Oh, come on, crit me. Crit me and do zero damage. In the earlier Fire Emblem games, the crit damage multiplier would actually happen before defense. So if you um, if you actually manage to land a crit on a heavily uh, armored enemy, you can actually end up doing a lot of damage to them, even though you normally wouldn't. So crits used to be a lot better back in the Nintendo Fire Emblem games. As, uh, it also actually made Swordmasters a lot better because they're high critical frequently, or frequency meant that you could actually send a Swordmaster up to a general, for example, and if you were lucky enough to get a crit, you could kill said general. Because crits were just insane back in the day. But alas, crits got nerfed, and swordmasters are still pretty crap. Gatry, on the other hand, pretty fucking good. That's what a third level Gatry gets this chapter? It, skill, speed, and defense. I think he's capped strength now. I think 29 is his cap. I'm gonna have to check that. Oh no, Rolf actually got hit for once. That rarely happens. Because he's so goddamn fast, you know? Nothing really can hit you when you're that fast. And this guy is starting to annoy me now. Probably just gonna have him killed. I don't even know why I started moving with Boyd. It's not like he's gonna reach the boss in time. Oh! Reinforcements. Nothing we can't handle, though. In fact, Mist can kill this guy. And this time I've checked. My math holds up. Hmm, Thoron. Interesting. Let's kill these reinforcements, and I think we can possibly kill the boss this turn, depending a little bit on how tough he is. I really haven't checked yet. Let's see. Uh, he has a rune sword, which means that lance users, well, both of my good lance users are away, it would seem. So that's a little bit annoying. Oh my god, he actually gets double. Interesting. Can he kill this guy? He can. Good job, Volki. You're alright. It wasn't a poniard. It was a stiletto. A warrior's weapon. No, wait, that's not how it went. It wasn't a stiletto, it was a poniard, a warrior's weapon. Yes, famous quote from Conan right there. Strength, my skill, my... I've read all of the Conan books. I'm actually a big Conan fan. I think that the Conan books are very, very uh, fascinating and entertaining to read. They are short, but sweet. So I read the Conan Chronicles. I got it as a gift uh, for Christmas, a very large book with all the uh, most uh, famous Conan stories written, and I, I read I read the entirety of it. Had a lot of fun actually reading the Conan Chronicles. It was a really good book. 
It's just good old school fantasy adventure. Really amazing, entertaining stuff. It really fell right into my. Uh, what can I say? Interests area. Not sure if that's the correct way to say. Anyway, let's kill these wyverns. I don't think um, Kieran with his uh, axes are going to be doing much against the boss. Although I do believe I gave Kieran lances. I just haven't equipped him with it. Pretty sure he can use lances, actually. I just never equipped him with a one. Hit points and defense. Well, he's capped most of his other stats. What else is there for him to level, really? Um... Wow, that boss did not take a lot of damage, did he? Not a lot at all. I wonder, can either proc on magic swords? Or is that not possible? I wonder if it can. La 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 la. Um, Riss could potentially be very good against this boss. Oh, he actually takes some damage. Interesting. Well, let's check him out, shall we? Perish! Perish! This guy's a fun guy, isn't he? Oh, he's just gonna heal up, isn't he? Yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's kind of pointless, then. Rune Sword is pretty nasty, actually. Well, especially on a boss like this, it's gonna be quite tricky to kill him off, I feel. Well, luckily we can still dance. Let's see if Callow or if Ileana can do anything. No. She is already benched, as far as I'm concerned. She just can't hold a candle to Callow. What can I say? Let's see if Callow can do something against this guy. Yeah, she can, but she gets hit right back. Um. Elfunder seems to be doing something right, but... Um... Ugh, that's gonna hurt a lot. Well, I can dance for all four of these guys. But it... It sounds like Nefni would be the best qualified person to take on this boss, actually. Ow. That really hurts. Mike might also be able to do decently against him. And if nothing else, the Rune Sword has 15 uses. It could easily be uh, killed. Lucia can't... Actually, this guy has one hit point left. Might as well. <laughs> Lucia. Lucia, now you're really trying to... Okay, does this guy have prayer? Or something? Or did I just... Did that, did that just happen? I think that just happened. Ridiculous. That's what it is. Did you guys see that? Was that not fucking ridiculous? Like, was that like two times 80 misses or something stupid like that? Something like that. That just happened. I can't believe that fucking happened. There's a lot of enemies to kill here, aren't there? Mm, wish I had my barrier staff still. Alright, how does Makalov fare? Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus! This guy is a nasty fucker, isn't he? Hmm. He has... Spear. I'm not sure what would cause him to use it. Jesus! This guy. This fucking guy right here. Wow. Uh, I guess I would have to attack him first with Riss. That sounds like a sound strategy, actually. Alright. Yeah, I, I would need to get attacked first with Riss so I can counter and do 50 damage to him, and then God knows what. 
But this guy is nasty. With a big N. You don't always encounter bosses who are nasty with a big N. They are quite rare. Most bosses are rather easy in Fire Emblem. Except for select few. What was his name? The one from Fire Emblem 5. Um, there was this warrior. Really fucking good one. Uh, he appears on the map where you get Dagda and Tanya. I can't remember his name, but he's very famous for being one of the like worst and horrible Fire Emblem bosses in history. Because he stands on a fucking throne. Which gives him a shit ton of, um, of avoidance and, and, and defense. I can't remember his name, but he, he was really fucking good. I promoted a Swordmaster in that chapter and used him to defeat him, if I recall. And the fucker heals himself. How the fuck am I supposed to deal with this? Oh, now he actually uses... Oh, no. This might be very bad. This might be very, 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 very bad. Oh, he brocked his special skill. God, I can't believe that happened. Saved by a skill. Does he have that? I was not aware. But hey, I got him to equip his spear, which means he's going to die. Yeah, he does have a miracle. Oh my god, that was... Yeah, that was terrible. Well, that means Kieran can come in and have some fun here. 5% crit is horrible, but it won't kill Kieran. Soul proc! <sighs> I'm glad I rest did not die. I am so fucking glad Riss did not die. Alright, is it safe to attack this guy? It is, actually. Let's do a... Okay, 1% critical. That will never happen. Right? 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 Of course it won't happen. Jesus Christ, this guy is nasty. Oh, I think the Brave Bow broke. Alright. Can I finish him? He should be able to with Makalov's Longsword. And even if he can't, I can always dance for Ike. Yeah, this will work. Perish! Perish! So you're Betram, are you? Sorry, but I can't perish right now. Me. Kill. What? Kill me. Kill me. What's going on? Are you mad? Ah. Uh, uh. uh. Oh, interesting. Gah. Release. Interesting. So he actually wanted to die. That's interesting. If we learn anything more about him, we'll see someone important. Maybe. All right, sees. That was a fun map. Sir, the enemy troops are fleeing. Shall we give chase? No, let them run. We fought enough for today. Get your men inside the fort and give everyone a break. Yes, sir. I see. So Crimea won another victory, have they? <laughs> well then, send the rest of our troops to Castle Lados as reinforcements. Put General Hafford in charge and let him exchange blows with them. Yet that would leave the capital pr protected by only the Imperial Guard. You forget yourself, Knight. I will be here as well. If they defeat Hafford and make it all the way here, then they are worthy to cross swords with me. I would beg a question, Your Highness. Why do you divide our troops and give the enemy the advantage? It is a, as if you were... As if I were... What? Go on. It 
Isis, if you desire the Crimean army to continue winning and make its way here to you. I'll not deny it. Are you saying that you desire Dane's defeat? No, I am not. If you think through it clearly, Dane will not lose. We have many plans that we, when we started this war, we went through many scenarios, many predictions. But as you know, our predictions have been completely overturned by this gang of rabble. Was that luck, or was it the gap of skill between the individual soldiers? And if it is, aren't you interested in seeing how far they can come? I do not understand. <laughs> Perfect. Nothing raises my spirit like war. Come, Crimea, let me be the one to consume your noble hearts. This guy is a piece of work. <laughs> Alright, well, that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this part as much as I did playing it. And of course, a comment and a like is always very, very much appreciated. At any rate, my name's Manx. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.